at LA Valley, uh, we had a project that was given to us and it was a design competition, a competition we won. And we won it by being creative. It was a one-story program for about 40,000 square feet that housed a bookstore, cafeteria, uh, student uh, lounge area, and then an outdoor plaza that they asked for. Uh, the master plan called for a sustainable park that came alongside of the building and one of our uh, creative thoughts was to actually elevate a portion of this one-story building and instead of the sustainable park going around the outside of the project for the sustainable park to go actually through the project and underneath it. So by elevating the student portion of it and highlight it in a bold yellow which are the campus colors, it, it brings sort of an identity and a focus uh, uh, to the student center because it's really at the heart of the campus. And with the sustainable park running underneath it, uh, with uh, drought tolerant planting, and then a small little river that collects rainwater and runs through there, it really engages the student into the sustainable uh, attributes of the uh, campus and the sustainable principles. Now, one of the unique features of the uh, Monarch Center is a big giant, uh, basically, umbrella over the building. Uh, we call it the solar and rain um, canopy, and it floats above the building, the one and a half story building, and covers an outdoor plaza area. That was one of the requirements of the program, is they wanted an outdoor covered space, flexible space. So, very few columns, uh, open, hard plaza space where they could set up clubs, bands could perform there. And that's something that is ultimately flexible also for fundraising, nighttime events. And so uh, this big canopy collects the rainwater and then distributes it uh, via waterfall over one end of the building down into a cistern that then leads into the sustainable park that I talked about earlier. That little river runs through it. It actually runs under it, underneath the building, uh, through the plaza, and then back down into the sustainable park. So all the way from the sky uh, down into the earth, uh, we show how uh, sustainability is working at the LA uh, Valley Monarch Center. Uh, the cafeteria at the Monarch Center is an indoor-outdoor uh, type of facility. Uh, the dining space uh, is obviously got a large indoor covered area uh, for dining, uh, but all along the dining area is a, an atrium space, uh, a two-story space that has glass out into the covered plaza area, and that glass area has continuous doors that can be held open on nice days to provide an indoor-outdoor atmosphere and create a naturally ventilated space, again, leading to uh, energy conservation. Uh, any days that the weather permits, you can open those up. The mechanical systems go into a low mode uh, and don't use as much energy. And so that's something that's very important to students, and especially students in California, that indoor-outdoor environment and be able to connect uh, those two things. Student Center, that's, we like to say it's a place where students go to see and be seen. Uh, so one of the things uh, that we try to strive to do is provide a, uh, a unique place for different personalities uh, because we want uh, students to feel comfortable wherever they want to hang out. Everybody likes it a little bit different. Some people like dark places, some people like bright places, some people like cold spaces, some hot spaces. So we like to provide a variety of spaces indoor and out different types of seating, soft seating, hard seating, uh, places for students just to hang out in the landscape, um, places for students to hang out close to food or close to games such as foosball, ping pong, billiards, all those kind of things. So for us, it's about being creative and providing a variety of spaces. And then once we've found those spaces, then to uh, create exciting, vibrant colors that blend with nature and help you know, sort of lend itself to the sustainable features that are found in the building. All the universities and colleges, uh, educational institutions are competing uh, for our students. Uh, in order to get students uh, to their campus, uh, they're turning to green design solutions. And green solutions in general, whether it's architectural design or it's food service, uh, any part of the uh, facility departments, they have to be green in order to attract students because that's what they, students today want. They want to contribute to the environment and be good stewards to the environments. And so every single building we design has to be green. It has to provide sustainable features that are uh, not only real, but uh, observed by the students. They, they want to see and, and participate in it. They want to see how rainwater is collected and then distributed into the ground. They want to see photovoltaics. They want bicycle racks. That's all things we strive to do is provide natural daylight, natural ventilation, 
uh, ways for the environment to uh, grow. So we're all stewards of the environment, uh, the, the designers, the contractors, the students, the teachers, and faculty, and we're happy to be a part of that.